If you get your microeconomics final exam next week and feel like you're about to fail, it's critical that you understand how to transfer the labor market equilibrium over onto an individual firm's graph as the marginal resource cost. Before we get started here, if you just need me to explain to you this entire class in one night, go check out my microeconomics cram kit on my website. It's packed with my best tutoring videos walking you through the core concepts you gotta know and then guiding you through applying them onto practice problems. With that being said, let's start out by understanding how the labor market works and then we'll transfer things over to the individual firm. The labor market works like regular supply and demand. We've got demand for labor, downward sloping. Remember, firms are the ones who demand labor. And then we've got the upward sloping labor supply curve. These are like individual people who are willing to work. The intersection of these two curves determines the equilibrium wage. Notice that we're not working with price here. It's wage because we're working with the labor market. So at this equilibrium wage, this many people are willing to work and firms are willing to hire the same amount of people. It's where the labor market rests. Now, what's critical that you do from here is that you continue this line over as the horizontal marginal resource cost line for the individual firm. The reason being for introductory microeconomics, labor market problems, the assumption is that the labor market is perfectly competitive. In other words, individual firms can't adjust their wage to hire more or less workers. They've just gotta accept whatever the equilibrium wage is set at. And then in terms of like the demand curve for the individual firm, that's the downward sloping marginal revenue product curve. Because as an individual firm hires more workers, each additional worker adds less and less output due to diminishing marginal returns. So the additional revenue, the marginal revenue from the product that each of those additional workers brings in decreases as we hire more workers. That's why the marginal revenue product curve is downward sloping. What this means is that this firm is gonna be hiring this many workers call it 10 at this equilibrium wage. Now, what happens if the underlying labor market shifts? Like for example, we get a decrease in labor supply. Well, now the equilibrium wage will rest right here. We'll call this W2. And once again, transfer this over to the individual firm as a new horizontal marginal resource cost line. We'll call this marginal resource cost two. So now this individual firm, due to the shift in the labor market, is gonna be paying their workers more and in turn is gonna be hiring less workers because now we lie higher up on their marginal revenue product curve. In other words, firms are going, all right, now I gotta pay workers more, and in turn I gotta cut back my output. Because I'm not gonna hire workers past the point where they're costing me, marginal resource cost, more money than they're bringing in, marginal revenue product. All right, if that made sense, but you still feel like there's a bunch of other concepts that you're confused on in this class, go check out that microeconomics cram kit in my bio. This is your fastest way to getting caught up and actually understanding this class. So you can walk into your exam not feeling like you're about to fail. Click the link in my bio to get started now.